Good day, everyone. In this video, we are going to solve problems related to trigonometric identities. We will try to verify and prove trigonometric functions and trigonometric identities. So let's try to review what are the identities. So first, we have the reciprocal, the reciprocal identities. So what are those? Okay, the reciprocal identities are for sine, sine theta is equals to 1 over cos second d cap theta. And for cosine, cosine theta is equals to 1 over second d cap theta. And also for tangent, okay, for tangent theta is equals to 1 over cotangent d cap theta. Next, the reciprocal of 1 over cos second theta is equals to, or let's say we have cos second, we have theta is equals to 1 over sine theta, we have second theta is equals to 1 over cosine theta, and then for cotangent, we give now equal to, we have 1 over tangent theta. One of the important as well identity that you need to remember is the quotient identity which gives us tangent theta is also equals to sine theta over cosine we have theta. And then the next one is the cotangent which is the reciprocal. Okay, so we have now the reciprocal of tangents. So therefore we get now as cosine theta over sine we have theta. And then also we have the Pythagorean theorem. If you can remember what is the Pythagorean theorem, we get c squared is equals to a squared plus b squared, which is in the triangle, right? We have the a adjacent, b, and then we have the theta is here, right triangle, and then c is the hypotenuse. But in trigonometric identities, we will get now a sine squared. So we have sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equal to we have one okay so these are the identities the important identities that we need to remember to memorize okay so that we can solve for proving or we can prove some that we have trigonometric identities okay let's try some example for example let's say okay let's try to solve some of the problems related to trigonometric identities Okay, first, uh, first question, we have second theta plus tangent d half theta times 1 minus sine theta must be equal to cosine theta. So if you are going to solve or verify we have trigonometric identities, always consider if there is only one identity, so don't we have evaluate that one so you have to evaluate the left side so therefore we are going to prove here second theta plus tangent theta okay times one minus sine theta will be equal to cosine so second theta what is second theta equal to so one second theta is equal to one over cosine theta which is the reciprocal of second plus tangent is also equals to sine theta over cosine we have theta so times 1 minus sine, we get theta equals to cosine theta. So next, we can add now, if you're going to uh, add fractions, if they have the same denominator, so we can copy that one already, right? We can add directly. So therefore, you will get now 1 plus sine theta over cosine theta, okay, times 1 minus sine theta equal to cosine theta. So therefore here, remember in the uh, difference of two squares, which is a plus b times a minus b equal to, okay, or we say equal to a squared minus b squared. So from here we get a plus b, a minus b. So we will have now a squared minus sine squared theta all over by cosine theta okay 
So we multiply the two of them. So we multiply 1 plus sine theta times 1 minus sine theta equal to 1 plus sine squared theta equal to cosine theta. And then this one here is this one, this identity is from the Pythagorean theorem. So we get right here cosine squared theta plus sine squared or sine squared theta either way equals to 1. So we move the cosine or we move the sine there. We will get now cosine squared theta equal to 1 minus sine squared theta. So therefore, this one is also equal to cosine. We will get now as cosine squared theta over cosine theta equals to cosine theta. You cut this one out. Therefore, it will give you cosine theta equal to cosine. And then we have cosine theta. So therefore, this is identity or identical. Next question. Or we, let's say this is very fun, right? Okay, next question. Let's say we have, okay, let's try some example. This example I took from the textbook of Algebra 2, which is a Algebra 2, uh, Algebra Trigonometric and Analytic Geometry, which is, I think, in fact, in the Philippines, it is, we have the textbook for uh, first year and second year college, right? Okay, so let's try some exa more example. Okay, let's say we have sine, okay, theta, cotangent, theta equal to cosine theta. So same, we are going to prove this one is equal to cosine, therefore sine theta cotangent. What is cotangent equal to? So cotangent is equal to times, so we just throw the parenthesis, so we have times we have cosine theta over sine theta, right? equals to cosine theta. So cancel out the sine, therefore you will get now cosine theta equals to cosine 3 by theta. Okay, very example. So if you want to try, so you can pause the video so that you can try if you understand, really understand, we have our lesson and discussion. Okay, let's try this one, another one. Let's say we have tangent theta plus cotangent theta times we have tangent theta equal to second we have squared theta. So from here we can change this one into sine. Okay, sine theta over cosine theta plus cosine theta over sine theta times sine theta over cosine theta, right? Equal to second, we have squared theta. From here, we cannot add the two of them, so therefore, you do cross multiplication, okay? Cross multiply and then find the common denominator. The common denominator now will be cosine and sine, or sine and cos. So cross multiply, we will get now a sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta all over by cosine theta times sine theta. Okay, times we have sine theta over cosine, okay, cosine we have theta. Equal to second squared theta. Next, sine squared plus cosine squared. Pythagorean identity, so therefore we will have 1 over cosine theta sine theta, okay, times sine theta, okay, over cosine theta. So therefore we cut the sine here, and then cos and cos, so we will get now equal to Okay, equal to 1 over cosine squared theta, which is 1 over cosine is reciprocal of second squared, so therefore that is equal to second we have 
square theta. Okay, so this one is very fun. Next one. Let's try some example. Okay, so let's try. Okay, this one. Let's try another problem. So let's say we have cotangent, cotangent theta times second theta equal to CSE or cosecant theta. So therefore, you will have now as cotangent is cosine over cosine theta over sine theta. And then second is also equal to we have 1 over cosine we have theta so equal to CSC or cosecant. So cancel out that one. 1 over sine we have theta is also equal to CSC or cosecant we have theta. So CSC cosecant theta is equal to cosecant theta. Therefore it is very fine. Okay, next question. Okay, let's say we have second. Okay, let's say we have this problem. Sine theta times second theta equal to tangent theta. So sine theta 1 over cos theta is equal to tangent. So therefore we get this one sine theta now over cosine theta is equals to tangent therefore tangent theta okay is equals to tangent we have theta so therefore when you're going to solve uh, when you're going to prove okay uh, trigonometric identities you have to remember all the identities that uh, given so all the fundamentals of trigonometric identities Mathematics is, you think it's hard, but if you know the process and the foundation of the lesson, I think uh, you will learn and you will love mathematics. So let's review a little bit. So again, what are the identities? For reciprocal, we have sine theta equals to, we have 1 over cosecant theta, and then cosine theta is equals to 1 over second theta tangent theta is equals to 1 over cotangent okay and then the reciprocal is still the same so for tangent okay tangent in quotient we have tangent theta is equals to sine theta over cosine theta and then for cotangent we have cotangent theta we get uh, cosine we have theta and over sine theta and then for Pythagorean, we will get now sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equal to 1. And then you can uh, generate, we have formulas here. So if you have questions regarding to mathematics, regarding algebra, you can comment below. Okay, so you can send an email so that we can help or I can help you learn and understand about algebra. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, hit the notification below, sub and like. Thank you so much. God bless.